Right, this question says split 2x squared minus 3x minus 14 divided by x plus 1, x minus 2 into partial fractions. So, notice this. If you do 2x squared minus 3x minus 14, and then at the bottom here you've got x plus 1 times x minus 2, so we'll just write at the top, the bottom we come x squared minus x minus 2 if you multiply it out. Now, the thing here, the power is the same as the numerator. So if the power of the denominator, the highest power, is less than or equal to the highest power of the numerator, then this fraction is said to be an improper algebraic fraction. So before we can split it into partial fractions, we have to actually divide first. So you've got x squared minus x minus 2. And then here you put 2x squared minus 3x minus 14. And then you do 2x squared minus divided by x squared, which gives you uh, just 2. And then what you do, long division, 2 times x squared, which is 2, 2x squared. And then 2 times minus x gives you minus 2x. And then 2 times minus 2 gives you minus 4. And then you do the subtraction. Get nothing from here. So, so it starts from here. Minus 4, minus minus 4 gives you minus 10. Minus 3, minus minus 2 gives you minus x. So this is the remainder. So the answer to this problem of 2x squared minus 3x minus 14 over x squared minus x minus 2 it's going to be 2 plus the remainder minus uh, x minus 10 over the denominator here factorized x plus 1 x minus 2 and then what we must do this bit here we just split this into partial fractions we'll come back and put the two back in at the end so so we've got that so this is just a simple case where we have two linear factors. So we're going to say this is a over x plus 1 plus b over x minus 2. So we have a common denominator here of x plus 1, x minus 2. So a will have to be multiplied by x minus 2. And b will have to be multiplied by x plus 1. So therefore we can say that minus x minus 10 must be the equivalent of a x minus 2 plus b x plus 1. So let's put x equal to minus 1. That will make that 1 0. So we put minus 1 in here. We get minus minus 1, which is 1, minus 10, which is minus 9. Minus 1 here, take away 2, gives me minus 3. So a is times minus 3. And therefore a will be minus 9 divided by minus 3, which is 3. Put x equal to 2, if we put x equal to 2, this bracket will be 0. And therefore, we're going to have that minus 12, because we put 2 in here, 2 minus 2, take away 10 is minus 12. And here, we're just going to have uh, 3b, gives that b is equal to minus 4. So now putting it all back together, so the original fraction was 2x squared minus 3x minus 14 over x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 2 when we got did the division, plus 3 over x plus 1, minus 4 over x minus 2. Alright, so just means to be careful in this case, because here what we've got is an improper algebraic fraction. We must divide first before splitting into partial fractions. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.